Hello, I'm Amy Rose. We will learn about corrosion and rancidity. First section, called corrosion, the process that converts a refined metal into a more chemically stable form such as oxide, hydroxide, or sulfide. Obviously, the most common type of corrosion is the formation of rust, or iron oxide, on the surface of metals containing iron, when they come into contact with oxygen. For example, some metal objects corrode like pipes, chain, or on the fan blades, etc. That's why metal turns into metal oxide, which gets exposed by air, containing oxygen. The equation shows that given element iron and H2O are reactants. This forms into iron oxide, Fe2O3, plus hydrogen being taken out. The color appears to be quite reddish brown. To give it a good shine, you must apply some coating and paint them with a new color, like on walls, ceiling, and floor for renovation by workers on some houses. Just like you paint on coated metal, with the help of interior or exterior paint to make it glossy. One thing, let's do the variations of gold rings. Platinum ring, gold ring, silver ring, or bronze ring. Which one will easily corrode? The bronze, marked number one. Then silver, partially corrodes, marked number two. Then gold, close to corrosion free, marked number three. And platinum is completely corrosion free. Mark number four. Corrosion level can be sequenced in order by the way. Two of the best metals are gold ring and platinum ring, which do not easily corrode, exposed from air. Let's see the next section called rancidity. Here, rancidity can be defined as the complete or incomplete oxidation or hydrolysis of fats and oils when exposed to air, light, or moisture or by bacterial action, resulting in unpleasant taste and odor. There are three pathways of rancidification. Hydrolytic, oxidation, and microbial. In hydrolytic rancidity, we can see if it develops odor when triglycerides are hydrolyzed and free fatty acids are released. For example, dilanoleal palmitol glycerol is a type of triglyceride, containing 55 carbon atoms, 98 hydrogen atoms and 6 oxygen atoms. Then we require a catalyst to react lipids with water to form fatty acids and glycerol. Where fatty acid is a carboxylic acid with a long aliphatic chain, which is either saturated or unsaturated, its formula is RCOOH. And glycerol is a colorless, odorless, viscous liquid that is sweet-tasting and non-toxic. Its formula is C3H8O3. That's the reaction of hydrolysis. If you have reversed the reaction, then this process is called a sterification reaction. Next, the oxidative rancidity. The oxygen atom degrades itself in the air. In the initiation step, suppose RH product, where R can be any element, has divided into two products R and H. Then, in the propagation step, R reacts with oxygen to form ROO, then RH is added to form ROOH, plus R. Then in the termination step, these which are identified as non-radical products. Namely, ROO, ROO plus R, and R. Finally, microbial rancidity, which refers to a water-dependent process in which microorganisms, such as bacteria or molds, they use their enzymes such as lipases to break down fats, such as adulteration of food if expiration date reaches. If you have best before three months food, you should consume within three months, and not above the limited duration. This causes some rancidity of smell, like from potato chips, baked potatoes, shell eggs and others. In a food factory, food manufacturers add preservatives to extend the life of food products, such as canned foods. So like, comment, and subscribe now.